Hey everyone, everyone. Welcome, welcome back, back to, to Five Minute Eats. All right, guys, we got a little breakfast toaster waffle situation for you today. And this one is the Birch Benders Keto Toaster Waffles. No gluten or grains, no sugar added, six grams of net carbs per two waffles. So your carbs break down as such, nine total carbs in two waffles, three grams of dietary fibers, two grams of sugars, zero added sugars. So I feel like this is, if you're on keto, more of like a, a splurge kind of thing where you can still stay keto, but I feel like six carbs is a, a little bit of a lot for just a little breakfast item, so tread lightly with that. So here's what we've got, and it comes in a box of six of them for about $4.50, so they're a little pricey. That's very pricey, and this is interesting because nowadays when you go to the grocery store, there's pancakes and waffles, all these brands are making this stuff. Mm -hmm. There's ones with protein, keto, and like God knows what else is out there. And so for every category, there's like, you know, something going on nowadays, right? Yeah, there's something for you, right? Yeah. Now here's the thing. I feel like this is a thing with the keto waffles because our whole box is like this, where one side of it is more like brown and the other side is a little bit like speckledy. And the thing is, the brown side inevitably gets a little bit more toasted, but the side that's speckly almost always stays soft. So I don't know what's up with that, but I had before, like a couple years ago, I think the chocolate chip version of these, and they were interesting, but they did the same thing where they never really got toasted toasted, except for on one side, the other side was soft. It was a little strange. So we're gonna try these out and see how they are. And guys, if you're new to our channel, basically we review everyday grocery items. So before you spend your hard earned money, let us tell you if it's worth it. Now this pulled apart a lot easier than a regular like toaster waffle. It was very almost like, like bread like. Wow. It smells really good. It does. Oh, what does that smell? It's almost like a Nilla wafer or something. If you'd like to support this channel, the easiest way to do that is using our Amazon links the next time you shop there. Hey guys, welcome back. Our rating system, thumbs up we buy it again, thumbs down we would not. For me, this is a thumbs down. This tastes like nothing and the more you chew of it, you notice there's a slight coconut taste, but overall, it smells good, but it tastes blah. Thumbs down. Hmm. Okay, so for me, I am gonna give this one a thumbs down. I'm a little conflicted on it though, because I tried before a couple years ago the chocolate chip ones. Those were pretty gross in my opinion because the chocolate chips it just, it was bad, it was really terrible. This is better than that, but at the same time, really tastes like nothing. Uh, you get a little hint of like coconutiness, which normally, I'm all for coconut, I love it, but this, it just, it's not enough of the coconut flavor to make me want to love it. Now, here's what I will say. This is better than the Atkins pancakes that I tried many, many years ago. Those tasted like straight up water and they were pretty disgusting. So if you are trying to stay low carb, I feel like this is a decent option for you. If you're having like a splurge kind of breakfast or something. With that being said, I feel like you would have to add, at least in my opinion, if I was eating this again, I would add like some whipped cream, some cinnamon, maybe some like sugar-free syrup or something. You need to add stuff that has a lot of flavor because this has no flavor. And there's better keto breakfast stuff out there because we recently reviewed the pancakes. Yes, exactly. I forget which brand it was. I think it might've been Birch Benders. And it was really good. So why mess with this? To sum it up guys, thumbs down, thumbs down. And if you guys buy from Amazon, use your Amazon link. The reason is when you do that, we get 10 cents, 50 cents, possibly even a dollar, which means we can continue to review things. All right, guys, that's the video. If you like what we're doing here, definitely check out our other channel, Food Prep Inc. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.